okay uh, hi this is from proxima info tech uh, now i am going to develop jsp with uh, ma access so how to store into the access database okay i am going to use user registration okay so how we can use that okay Be okay so how to create okay go to netbeans file new project and java with web application after that next so here i'm going to give user user so go to file new project java web web application next Yes. Go to Netbeans. File. New project. Web web application user user is my user site for example user site is my project name after that next next finish okay so and this index.jsp is there okay how to create okay just you watch this what i'm typing method equal to text and after that name equal to txt name for entering password you have to use input type equal to password after that for uh, select country for selecting country for selecting the uh, countries because it's going to display multiple values for that i'm going to use select tag so how we can use select tag okay inside option here you have to give so all the values you want to display okay so i'm going to use copy paste copy paste us uk and australia okay fine okay after that at last we have to create button for that we have to use input type equal to submit
run this project run Okay, so before that, uh, to connect with the uh, access database, we have to create access, right? So how to create? Go to all programs. Okay, it's uh, now the form is running. Username and password. Here you can select the country, right? Okay, so to connect with the uh, access, go to all programs. Microsoft Office. I'm going to select which option? Microsoft Access 2007. And after that, blank database. And here you have, you can select the file name or file path, right? For example, I'm selecting F drive. Here you can give, for example, user DB. Okay user db is my file name here you can uh, select the type whether you want to save access db or uh, mdb for example i'm selecting mdb here so what is the file name user db right and then give okay and then create okay how many fields are there you have to enter username password and after that country right okay so i'm going to right click on this a design view so here i'm going to use that table okay use that table is my table name okay got it and then view okay and right click delete yes how many columns there are three columns and country save this simply close okay okay I'm going to create second page page I'm going to register it successfully okay index.jsp and okay inside this you have to type because in this scriptlet we have to type our JSP coding right okay how many fields we have given there are three fields input txt name txt password and select name equal to name equal to cell country okay these are the three fields we have to get okay go to second dot jsp page i'm going to declare three variables Okay, and after that, m name equal to request dot so which name am I gave? TXT name. So I'm going to copy this line, copy and then paste.
simply I'm doing copy paste okay here you can check whether it's uh, the values are passed from previous page or not for that I'm going to display that Okay, let me check reload or refresh okay to connect with so here you have to give what is the page name here I give second right so here you have to give second already I told uh, in method you can give you can type get or post right so instead of uh, get I'm going to use post method username Proxima and then password is India sorry password is NKL I'm selecting India register so Proxima, NKL, India are displaying. Okay. Now I'm going to connect with Access. Okay. To connect with Access, we have to use to connect with Access on any database we have to use import java.sql okay simply comment this inside try catch exception ex okay okay so here I'm, I have to connect with the database because already I have uh, type two things okay class dot for name son dot jdbc odbc driver here you have to give dsn name okay class and then connection gate connection because i'm going to connect with ODB, jdbc odbc connectivity okay so here you have to give dsn dsn is nothing but data source name what is the DSN? DSN data source name. Okay, how to create data source name? Go to control panel. So click on administrative tools. After that, you have to select data sources, add and Microsoft Access Driver, MDB or Access DB, finish and I'm going to give user DSN okay and then select in which location I'm having that database yeah right yes user DB this is access database file and then give okay and then give okay so automatically it is coming you have to use this name inside the coding what is the name of this user dsn user dsn so here you have to type what user dsn okay and so after that statement stmt equal to connection dot so inside this you have to use insert query insert into what is the table name user table values how many columns there are three columns okay so values are in which variable m name m password and m country 
single quotation, double quotation, plus plus, M name, M name, comma, single quotation, double quotation, plus plus, M password, and single quotation, M country, okay, what's the error showing, cannot find symbol, and it's country. Okay, after that statement dot statement dot execute update execute update after that register dot successfully what is the error? Simply, I'm going to display for that out dot. For displaying the uh, message, I'm going to use out dot println. Let me check. I'm close this again. I'm going to run, or or otherwise you can use this. Not Proxima website. Stop. Not this one. Wait. Right click. Run. Username Proxima and password is Namak and country and register registered successfully. How go and check where is it storing the table? Go F drive and then user, I think, user DB, right. Store right, okay. Again, enter one more data. Shiva and John register. Peter one two three and India register. Successfully. Go and check. Okay. Thank you for watching. If you have any doubt, just you call us or mail us. Thanks for watching this uh, video.